Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here and today I've got the promised hoisin sauce recipe. So let's begin. So this should be fairly easy to put together. All you need is to either prepare the black bean garlic sauce and um, I'll link to the recipe, the homemade one in the card above and in the description below. So I made my own um, Chinese uh, black bean garlic sauce or you can use a store-bought version as well. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna put um, a few ingredients in our blender and blend it together and that's it. That will be our hoisin sauce. If this recipe works, because this is the first time of me trying it, so they'll be interesting. If this works, then my husband will be a very happy man because hoisin sauce is his favorite sauce. I love it too, actually. It goes with so many dishes. Um, so yeah, so if we can make this, you know, in bigger uh, kind of... Uh, portions and cheaper at home then we can make um, more of it whereas you know in the shops the ones that we were buying is just little tiny bottles and um, a lot of packaging a lot of waste obviously and it costs a little bit so if I can make you know it at home I know the ingredients that go into it then that will be fantastic so let's begin so we need um, we'll start with our sugar so you need a third um, of a cup of uh, dark brown sugar but I only have demerara sugar so this is kind of just light golden one so I've kind of um, didn't put a full a third of a cup just a little bit missing off the top because what we're gonna do we're gonna add a little bit molasses a little bit of molasses so about a tablespoon of molasses I'm gonna add to just make it more of a brown sugar because um, the molasses obviously got that um, richness that's been removed from the sugar so that will basically add up to make more of our brown uh, deeper sugar so I'm gonna add that in so that's molasses in um, then the next ingredient um, we're gonna do actually we're gonna do three tablespoons of um, black bean garlic sauce so three tablespoons so it's nearly the whole amount I've got, so three. Um, then um, another ingredient is two tablespoons of water here. One, two, just approximately really. Um, then I've got four prunes. So they go in for the sweetness. Um, then instead of sesame oil because it's like one teaspoon of sesame oil um, and we don't use oil obviously so I'm gonna uh, put one teaspoon of um, tahini so this is homemade oil free tahini just to give that extra sesame taste that this recipe needs um, then we're gonna need two tablespoons of soy sauce So two tablespoons of soy sauce. So then we're gonna need one tablespoon of uh, rice wine vinegar. Goes in. And then we finish off with half a teaspoon of um, five spice. So this is a store-bought five spice, but obviously you can make it at home as well. Um, so half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice in in goes and that is all the ingredients so now I'm just gonna put a lid on this um, and give it a good blend maybe a minute or two minutes and that should be ready for us um, to taste test so the sauce is blended for two minutes let's have a look wow it's really nice and rich looking quite um, thick So if you like your sauce um, a bit more runny, I guess you could add another tablespoon of water. So I'm gonna add this to this container and we're gonna taste test it. So let's have a look at this sauce. Wow, it's really nice and rich looking. 
Beautiful. So I've got the expert on house and sauce himself. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> or the lover, anyway. Um, yeah. So we can taste test this and compare it with the store bought as well. Ooh, okay. There you go. So this is this is the one that I made. Okay. Have a little taste test. All the smells are are correct. Mmm. Oh wow. Nice, huh? That's um. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty close. Wow. So this is the store bought version. I'm guessing this is going to be sweeter somehow. But um, that's sweet enough actually as well. Mm, it's really good actually. Oh, that one hits you a little bit more at the back. It's got a little bit, a little bit more tang to it. I think it's got more sugar and more yeah. even maybe vinegar as well. Yeah, but to be honest, I actually prefer yours. Yeah? Yeah, because that... Mm. I mean, I, I I love this one as well, but it's it's mm -hmm. it, it is too kind of sugary. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one has just got more flavour to it as well yeah. as that sweetness. So there you go, guys. Mm. You know, I think this will be our go-to sauce. And if I buy, um, I might not be mm. making my own um, black bean garlic sauce uh, all the time because I need you know specific soybeans for that. Mm. Um, but what I can do, I can buy jars of the store bought and then just quickly whip up this sauce as you saw and we'll have like, you know, a half a litre or a litre of this sauce at a time. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, somebody is going to be happy. Um, if you like this video and going to give this sauce a go, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe for more videos um, of recipes and experiments just like this um, on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Bye, guys.